Hey guys, uh, you're watching a video tutorial on the 15, 13 and 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro hard candy shell cases. Um, I just did a video review on, well, a tutorial on the MacBook Air case. I'm going to do one on the Pro. We've had some customers say that they, uh, when they put it on, it's it's making cracking noises. They can't open it all the way. Um, this is a MacBook 15 inch. I also have one in the office here that's a 13 inch and it has a smoked cover. When you open it up, there's no cracking noises at all. As you can see right here, both cases are on and uh, there's nothing. It just depends on how you put this case on and that's what I'm going to show you because there are a couple things that people do wrong um, that we need to address. So first being the top cover. I'm going to remove the top cover first. Okay, so there's certain ways of doing it. If you look over here, this is the front of the laptop. With the case, I'm going to flip it over here there are two tabs one tab here and one tab here the back part doesn't have any tabs at all what you want to do is the two tabs need to go on the front so you can open it up and you're going to clip the tabs in like that make it sit close this, the uh, the macbook keep the back and then where the clips are on the side just push down and push down as you heard those clips go in. That's the proper way of putting them in, okay? One side I leave right here. You'll see one side clips perfectly in. One side is just a little bit out. Now, because uh, our guy in the office with this MacBook, he changes his covers. He changes from clear to blue to all the different colors that we have. He doesn't clip this all the way down. You can push this in a little harder and it'll it'll snap in the side and it'll be permanently on there um, it's hard to take off I mean it's meant to be on there and protect your case so once you put it on I, you can take it off but he just prefers it uh, to just you know it's much easier to lift it off that way rather than having both tabs on but by all means if you are just getting one case which most people are clip both of them on and then they're on permanently now we're gonna look at the bottom half of the case and this is another problem area that customers are having issues with. So we're going to take and remove the bottom part of the case here. And same thing with the MacBook Air. There's a slit section right here. What people do is they just put it on and they clip it. And that's why you have this whole section that's loose. And when you open the back end, it hits the bottom part right here and making makes a cracking noise. So right here are two little slits. What you're going to do is you're going to put those slits into the vent area right here of the MacBook. Make sure that they're both in there. Align both sides so it's perfectly down on both sides and then you're going to place the bottoms here and you're going to push down and you're going to snap in the top section. So you're going to open it up and right here and right here are the clips. Again, same thing. This one's all the way in. This one's not all the way in. If I push it hard enough right there, it's all the way in. So now when you open up with the top cover, you're going to have no problems. If you put it on backwards so you don't put these two clips on and you put the two clips on.